cooking blind, and making the perfect dinner for a foodie wedding, Master Chef put the pressure on high for last week's contestants. This is your Dated 7 rehash of Master Chef brought to you by Lexus. Talk about getting stared down in the first challenge. Martini tweeted, I never want to open a box and find a pig's head in it. These home chefs, not so lucky. Uh -huh. so awesome. <laughs> first challenge done, no problem. The next challenge, courtesy of last year's Master Chef, Christine Ha, huh? a bit more tricky. Chad nailed it in his tweet. They're cooking blind. Come on, guys. If I can do it, you can do it. Or maybe not. Christine was just messing with them. Searchman said at least they got a brief taste of what it's like to be a blind chef. Amina tweeted, she's sad they're not cooking blind. She's only joking. Take your blindfolds off. <laughs> Ultimately, even with full sight, Beth lost the challenge and had to be sent home. Elmo tweeted, Beth has been on the chopping block many times, and that was just her time to go. After a complex wedding dinner, Lynn and Johnny go head to head to make some delicious macaroons. But. Oh, just jammed them in and slammed the box shut. Ouch! Katie tweeted the crushed macaroons are actually heartbreaking. In the end, Johnny had to go home. But cheer up, Johnny. Pam posted on Facebook, she'll let you cook for her anytime. And don't forget to tweet along with us during tonight's episode of Master Chef with hashtag Dated 8. And it starts right here on Fox San Antonio at 7.